there's a bite, folks. Let's let him have it just a little bit. Then we'll go ahead and put some steel to him. Y'all ready? There he is. Oh my. This is a heavy fish for the type of tackle we got. Oh my, what do we got? It's hard to tell what I got right here. Count this two pound line. Y'all hear that eagle? Let's see if we can spot him. Ah, can't spot him. Water's a little bit dirty right here. We had a rain. Oh, it's a bass. It's a bass. We had a rain a couple of days back and a good one. And this creek coming out of here has got some dirty water and it's hitting this clean. So I'm fishing right here where the mud line is. That's a good bass right there. The reason it took me so long to land him is because we're using two pound line. I love the fish with ultralight. That's a good fish right there. Look at there. Good bass. Mm -mm -mm. I love the fish. I like to be the underdog, and I certainly was right then. What the situation is right now, the water temperature's at 48 degrees. Uh, it's cold. It was around 56, 57 on top. Then we had this massive cold front come through here, and we had temperatures around uh, four and five degrees for a while. And this water has really, the water temperatures really fell real quick. And what has happened since then, we've had a little rain. Got a little mud rolling out of this creek right here. It's hitting this clear water here on the river. And there's some fish right there where that transition is. And they could be all bass. They could be a mixture of different species. And may I add... It is a beautiful day out here, but I don't have long to fish because we got another rain. As y'all can see how overcast it is. We got another rain and a big one fixing the hit here in a couple hours. So I don't have but a couple hours to fish and that's it. Then I better think about getting back to the boat round. Well, howdy folks. It's Richard Jean, the fishing machine here. Hey. Today, well, I'm going to show you a simple setup that catches big fish using nothing more but some worms that you can get at your local Walmart. Let's take a look. What we're going to be using today is ultralight tackle. In fact, this is one of my favorite ways to fish, folks. Very sporty. Two pound test, high vis, vicious line, mono. A 1,000 size Revros and a light action rod. One that has very little backbone. Now what I'm using right here is a size 6 hook. Nothing more than a little bluegill hook or brim hook. And about a foot above the hook, a little bitty split shot. What this does, that little split shot will force you to fish slower, thus making your presentation a lot more realistic. Okay, let me show y'all how I hook them up. This is a pretty good size night crawler, one of about four and a half inches long. And what I do right here on this head part, not the tail, but the head, you'll see a little bitty hole at the end of his little mouth right there. I'll take this hook excuse me either hook it in that in his mouth or very close to it just like that one time and I drag this bait like a Carolina rig I fish very slow very productive way to catch bass or most any other game fish in the winter summer spring or fall let's go catch a fish Whoa, doggone, look at the bird. Look at the bird, whoa! Right there is where it drops off. 
into around nine and ten feet of water and it is full of arches full of arches folks and we know that there's some bass but they could be walleye they could be sauger they could be white bass there's any number of fish that these could be drum channel cat if they're suspended off the the bottom they'll show up i'm just sliding that bait on the on the bottom moving it a few inches see it's got that little bitty split shot so i can't move it very aggressive and still maintain bottom contact i'm just barely moving it of course it don't hurt if it comes off the bottom a little bit it might draw some attention more attention but that's really how i fish with this with these just real slow all these fish is on the bottom too folks i want to throw that in on the when it comes to night crawlers conditions like this where you have muddy water coming out of a feeder creek hitting the main river i have more success if i'll just fish that bait on the bottom there's fish crawling off with it right now y'all see that line moving we'll let him have it a little bit because i don't know what it is it could be a, a stalker could be a walleye could be a big shell cracker or bluegill all right let's see what we got him oh my goodness it's a heavy fish i can tell y'all that this is a heavy fish now with two pound test line oh we're gonna have to really adjust that drag to where it'll slip like that and not horse the fish take her time with the fish And I have no idea what it is. I believe it's a bass because he just about come to the surface right then. You talking about fighting, folks. When you're undermatched like this, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of fun. And you're giving the fish a sporting chance. That's exactly right. Probably too much of a chance because this, this is a good one. And I'm glad I brought my net. That's a little wire hook. So remember, I can't put much, I can't put no pressure on this fish no matter what. I got a wire hook and two pound line. So it's all about wearing him down and I love it. I have landed some big fish on two pound line. Oh my, my, my. What a spot. Y'all see that? And that's a little brim hook. There's a reason why I do that. I'm wanting this bait to look natural as possible. Y'all see that? And that's on a night crawler. <sighs> he ain't gonna quit, is he? He's just a big, powerful fish. And I can't get my drag suited. Uh, I can't get my drag suited. Golly, what a fish. That was hard to do. That was real hard to do right there on two pound line. Very hard to do. I got to show y'all this. And, whoa, I'm talking about doggone. Hey, man, whoa. Well, I got lucky. The hook just popped out. The barb wasn't even buried. You can see, I can see right there where the point was and it just came out. But that is a big spotted bass. Look at that, folks. On two pound test line, that was a challenge. When I stuck that fish, look what a beautiful, that's just a beautiful specimen right there. That is a heavy, heavy bass right here. Let's let him go. A heavy fish. What I'm doing, going back, is trying to show y'all that you don't need a uh, $55, $60 baits to catch a fish. It, hey, you don't need that. Whoa, you don't need patches. Whoa! Now, I've got that night crawler just exactly, or real close to the drop-off, right there, right where I'm at. That's where those fish are. 
and I heard that eagle once again. There he is. Y'all see him up there? Ain't that beautiful? Golly. I think I just got bit. Well, I was turned around there. Let's see. Yep, there's a fish on here. Those could be big bluegill shell cracker. I have caught some big shell cracker right here before, right in the mouth of this. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, that's not a very, look here. See what I'm talking about? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that is a jumbo shell cracker. See, I'm not kidding. I'm not playing, folks. I'm gonna tell y'all right. Look here, what a big shell cracker. I'm gonna show that to y'all. That is a beast of a shell cracker. That is a big son of a gun. And I bet you I missed, the other one that I missed was a shell cracker. That's why I'm using the, these, uh, I'm not pinching off little old pinches and stuff like that. I'm using the whole night crawler. Folks, look at there. That's an old big one right there. I knowed it, I knowed it. When I missed that one, I just had a hunch it was a big shell cracker. Whoa. I shell daddy. Whoa! Let's let him go. You know, I get a lot of questions about two pound test line. You know, I use it for crappie, bass. I use it for these big shell cracker bluegill. I do it for a reason because it's a lot of fun to be at, at, at a disadvantage. I'll get it out in a minute. And picking the right rod is really important. Now this is a six uh, foot eagle claw rod. It's light action. It's a little bit heavy. But I do know the rod. I know the rod well, so I can get by with it. I do have rods that's more suitable for it. What you're looking for is a rod that has very little backbone. This one here, well, it's got a little bit too much, but I know exactly how much force I can put into the hook set. And it's a very, very little. The main thing is a good sharp hook. And they make them this day and time all kinds of chemically chemically sharpened hooks and by practicing proper drag setting i mean you want just enough drag where you can get a, that hook point to penetrate on the hook set so it'll slip real easy and if it's a real big fish well and it don't take that much of a fish to be big when you're using two pound test line uh, lighten your drag off and take your time. The fish are finally wear out. Okay. I'm going to fish just a little bit longer. But we're about ready to let it go. It's, I'm taking a chance of getting soaked. <laughs> mm. Oh, boy. This is a big one, folks. I can tell you before I even set the hook. It's a big one. I can feel the weight of that fish on there. He just hit it and was on there. Let's see. Let's see if we can hook him. Mm. I hope he stays button. This is a good one right here. Look here. Uh, that might be a large jaw. Uh, okay, let me... Y'all excuse me. Now, when you're using two-pound test line, you better know how to adjust and readjust your your drag while fighting a fish. Now, these Daiwa reels, the reason why I like them, they're cheap, but they have an extra smooth drag system, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. And I can get by with fishing with this light, light line. This is sewing thread. Two pound test line, well, it's sewing thread. Let's see if we got a spot or a large mouth. No, it's a spotty bass. But I knew he is a pretty good fish. For what we're doing right here. 
uh, he was there and he didn't want to move. That's because of this cold, extra cold water. I can't talk. I'm so excited. I can't help from talking and explaining exactly what's going on right here. That's a good chunky fish. Let's go ahead and put him in the boat. Okay, that's what we do. We put them in the quick, 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 quick in the boat. Boy, that's a heavy little fish. He's bigger than what I thought he was. He is bigger. Whew, I'm gonna scream. Okay, I'll scream out here just as hard as I can. Thank you, Lord, for all you do. Whoa. Good quality fish, folks. He ain't near as big as what I caught a while ago, but by Ned, it's a good one. When you have a bad front that drops that water temperature in the winter below normal winter time range, go get you some night crawlers and go ahead and catch fish. It's that simple. Let's let him go. That old man is showing them little old carp up. Some of them little old carp won't be but about, oh, I don't know, they won't be but about six, seven inches long. He'll put them in that old bucket and they hot catching them old carp and he'll eat them and they're turning white. Oh, nasty things. He eats everything that he catches. Whoop. Is that a bite? If it is, it's a big one because he ain't yet he is. He's moving, or I think it. Ooh, I'm going to have to get right here to set the hook. There he is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a good one right here. We got another good one. My, my, my. Ooh, let me get up here and quick. Man, sorry about that, folks. I had to get to moving. This is a good one. I hope he's stuck good. Mm, he's all over the place. This is nothing but sporty to me. <laughs> Y'all hear that? You know, just a little bit too much drag with this two-pound test line. You'll get broke. Too hard of a hook set? Well, you'll get broke. I believe it's a spotted bass. A spotted bass in a small mouth. Not discredited in a large mouth by no means, because I love catching them all. He's a lot stronger. When you match pound for pound, a small mouth and spotted bass will out pull. A large mouth without any trouble but they're all fun to catch there's a good fish right there looky there they <clears throat> come on in here boy that's a good one mm -mm -mm. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do if I can get her to do it, if I can bundle her up good enough, I'm going to get Mama Sue out here and let her catch some of these fish right here on this light line. I'm going to adjust that, <laughs> adjust that drag reel light and sit back and laugh because she, uh, well, I love her. She's daddy's baby. Let's let her, let's let him go. There's another good one, Jim Dandy. Jim Dandy. There he goes. There he goes. That's the best part of it right there. He'll be bigger next year on it. I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for all the great comments. Everything y'all do for this channel. And I hope each and every one of you had a great 
Christmas, and an even better um, New Year. And be safe out there. Never give up. Keep one foot going in front of the next. Don't let anything discourage you. Stay close to God. Hey. Whoa. Remember, go fishing when you can, but all is good for you.